Well, let's get this day started. And to start off the day, Trey has an injury to his finger from playing basketball. So we're heading to Walgreens to see if we can find a splint. I'm pretty sure it's like jammed or sprained or something. So we're gonna see how it goes and uh, go get him a splint. Does your finger hurt? Let me see it. The middle one? Mm -hmm. All right, it we're gonna- thicker. Yeah, that's because it's swollen. That's why it looks thicker. <laughs> All right, let's go get you a splint. Okay. All right, I gotta go find the splints. None of these finger splints look <laughs> like they are. I don't know if they will fit you or not. Some tape like that? We could get some tape and tape it. Hmm, let's see. I think we need some candy. What kind of candy do you want? Mm, we love these hot chew. I want orange slices. Do they have any? They don't have any orange slices unless you get like all the flavors. They have cherry slices and peppermint slices. Watermelon wedges. I like the orange slices. I also need some new face wash. This is what I use. And I also use this moisturizing lotion. All right, let's go home and wrap it up. All right, I have Trey all settled in. His splint is on his finger. I got my Twizzlers and I'm gonna head to Disney now. This is gonna be quite a journey today because it's spring break and there are no park reservations. And I don't like to complain because I come to the park all the time. But at the same time, what I'm trying to say is I can't get into a park and I pay for a park pass that has no block out dates. But because I am a person who is grateful and thankful and I know how blessed I am to be able to go to the parks as often as I do. <sighs> you know, it's still very frustrating whenever you're paying for something that you're not receiving. And I'm not complaining, I'm just having a discussion with you all about it um, because I couldn't get a park pass. Finally, one opened up for Epcot and I'm at Epcot, but I have to go here to scan in just to leave so I can get in Magic Kingdom. So that's our journey. <laughs> and uh, I'm going into Epcot right now and then we'll head over to Magic Kingdom on the monorail. If you wanna go to Epcot, for just one day. It's 134 for kids, 139 for adults. But you can also add on a park hopper for $65. Just in case you all were curious what the prices are right now. All right, I'm gonna go in just to come out. <laughs> Gotta do it sometimes, gotta do what you gotta do. We made it in. Just to go right back out, I'm headed to the monorail so I can get over to Magic Kingdom. The legacy walls are right out there on either side of the exit for entrance, depending on which way you're coming. And we're heading up the monorail now. Because this is such a hike, getting up this monorail ramp, they do have a handicap entrance. I'm pretty sure there's a elevator over here so that you don't have to make that haul. Yep, there you go. I don't think I ever knew that until just now. 
I'm pretty sure I've pushed someone up this ramp in a wheelchair before. Never knew that elevator was right there. So that is good to know because this is no joke. Look at this ramp. And we are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen, because there is a whole nother one over here. All this new greenery looks so pretty out here. We need some flowers in there for the Flower and Garden Festival. Hello. <laughs> and this is the tram loop if they ever start them back. So if you park way out yonder, you can grab the tram when they start bringing them back. They haven't brought them back yet. And it'll bring you all the way up here to the front. And at the end of the night, it'll take you back to your car. There's the Guardians of the Galaxy building over there, which we should know something on Monday when that's gonna open. They said uh, Memorial Day weekend, I believe, but who knows, Disney might announce something else. They gave us a little teaser today that said Monday. And finally, we're almost to the very top. If you would have taken the elevator, it'll let you off right here at the top. I have to hurry, I hear a cavalcade going. We made it. I don't know if they're gonna come around here because the sky looks bad, like we're about to get some rain.
our wishes granted. So when I was on the monorail coming in, I met a family who watches the channel and a um, sweet little girl named Chloe asked me to go on the magic carpet with her. So we're heading over to Adventureland because I said, how could I say no to that? Of course we're going to go on the magic carpet together. I said, under one condition, you have to sing a whole new world out loud with me. So we're going to go ride right now. Oh. <laughs> He just got somebody. If you all didn't know, this camel will spit. Oh, he just did it again. Oh, I got to get out of here because he always gets me. Only a 20 minute wait. This camel will spit also while you're on the ride, so you have to be careful. Oh, there he goes. He got somebody. <laughs> that camel always gets me without fail. Every time. I wonder if Jasmine and Aladdin are going to meet over here again. That'll be cool, right? Things are changing. Sorry about that. Chloe! You're supposed to put it where it doesn't spit at us! Oh no! Go high! Go high! She's hiding! That's no fair! Oh, it got me! It got me! I can show you the world! That was so fun! Oh my gosh! Chloe was cracking me up! What a blast! and they have the cutest shirt and now I'm on a mission to find it in my size because here they only have an extra large but y'all it's so cute. Look how cute this is for Easter. I gotta have it. So they don't have my size here and I'm gonna go look for it in a couple others. They also have a new Earth Day shirt which is super cute. Might need this one too. And this Nick Wilde one it says it's called Hustle. Sweetheart. <laughs> I also have not seen this one that says Paging Mr. Morrow. There's another new one that says being together is magical. I've been in the Emporium so long that it got dark. <laughs> and it rained while I was in there. Everybody's got their umbrellas and their ponchos going now. Um, but I'm going to go see if I can find chapstick. And I'm still looking for the thumper shirt. I gotta go over here to the baby care center because apparently they sell chapstick in here. First aid is there. I'll check there if they don't have any in the baby care center. Not only does the baby care center have chapstick, they have all kinds of stuff. Like they have Tylenol and just kind of everything that you might need. Lysol on the go wipes, powder, baby wipes tampons, things for the baby, food, and batteries. 
They also will let you use the microwave in here and the sink and everything you need for the baby. There's a little bottle warmer. That's so great. And they have a changing room back here if you need to change the baby. <gasps> Look at all the art. That's so pretty. There's the Mad Hatter and Alice. So cute. That was my first time ever going in there. But I was, go I was looking for chapstick. My lips were so dry. And um, when I went in the Emporium, they told me that they have it in there. So you ever need chapstick they had it in the baby center and um that was cute that's the first time i ever used it or went in there i didn't use it whenever i had babies but y'all know what i mean i've mostly just been hanging out on main street meeting people chatting and talking but now i'm on a hunt for this shirt that has thumper on it and i'm gonna walk back over to tomorrowland and see if they have it in that gift shop and then I'll probably walk over to the Contemporary and see if they have it over there. Walking through, I can see the dessert parties going on for the fireworks, which are going to be starting soon. And there's Stitch. Yeah, so this is dessert party. Um, it's like 8.30 right now, and fireworks start at 9. So I'm trying to get over to the gift shop in Tomorrowland and get back to Main Street before the fireworks start. Fingers crossed, because it's very crowded out there. Sometimes when you're looking for merchandise and they don't have it on Main Street, Star Traders is a good second option. I see some t-shirts back there on the wall now. So the shirt I'm looking for is Thumper. It's like their Easter shirt. And I don't see it here. They do have some new shirts though. Well, they didn't have that shirt here, but Trey's going to a birthday party tomorrow and the little girl loves Stitch. So I'm gonna try to find something Stitch for her gift for they tomorrow. have lots of stuff with stitch on it here they have like a sweatshirt a t-shirt one of these bucket hats a cup and look at this little sparkly like uh pencil case that's cute okay i didn't get the shirt didn't get anything stitch for trey's friend for her birthday I wasn't sure which one she would like, and he didn't answer the phone, so I'm going to go back up here and watch fireworks. Of course, I had to get me a cream cheese pretzel because the lunching pad was still open at 8.30, so they must stay open until 9. Um, anyway, it's almost time for fireworks, and then I'll go looking for that shirt and something stitch.
times the world seems against you. The journey may leave a scar, but scars can heal and reveal just the way you are. What did y'all think about that? Man, those fireworks are amazing. I don't care how many times I watch them. I know that it's not happily ever after you all, but I still love, there's some parts in there that gets to me. I love the music and um, the Elsa part and the fairy godmother doing her little thing. Oh my gosh. It's good, really good. All right, I'm gonna head out of here for tonight. And I'm heading over, I'm actually gonna go over to the Contemporary really quick because they put Easter eggs out over there. You know how they do the ones at the Grand Floridian? They also do it at some other resorts. So I heard that they're out over there at the Contemporary. I'm gonna go check and look for the Easter shirt at the gift shop. The after fireworks crowd is out here. Wow. Let's look over here. Coming in. Getting on the monorail and the ferry boat. I'm gonna walk over to the contemporary. I noticed that somebody lost their sunglasses. Oh no. There's Space Mountain. getting ready to start pouring rain out here. I'm almost there though. my way upstairs. It's the convention center. It's down that way. And I did get caught in the rain. But I have my umbrella. I just dug it out real quick before I got drenched. So I just got hit a little bit. They have the eggs out. Wow. These are all from the Contemporary Bakery. Very nice. They have an Alice one. So pretty. It's a small world one, it's super cute. They're all so cute. All right, we made it up here to the area with Outer Rim, Chef Mickey's, Contempo Cafe. 
um, outer room stays open where you can go in and get a bite to eat and a cocktail. Chef Mickey's is reservation. Sometimes they take walk-ups. And Contempo Cafe is a quick service restaurant where you can get a burger, some fries, some chicken tenders, that kind of deal. Anytime with no reservations. And they also do the mobile ordering. The Contemporary has the monorail going straight through it, which is super cool. And I'm just gonna take a quick peek in here and then I have to get out because they will close that monorail. They'll close the monorail that goes to Epcot because, and I won't be able to get back to my car. So I can't stay in here long. Y'all know I have to come and check out the coffee cups. And the one that I see that I may need is that one. Ducky and Bunny, which is perfect for Easter. So many of you all have asked me where I got my bathing suit and I actually got it right here in the Contemporary. All right, I came looking for the Thumper t-shirt, which I don't see it anywhere. It's kind of like a real light uh, green color, pastel green, and they don't have it here either. So maybe they'll get one, um, they'll restock it in the Emporium and I can get it later. Nothing here. They do have this really cute Alice t-shirt though. It's always tea time. I was able to refrain from buying anything because I've got to get on this monorail before I get left behind and I have no way to get my car. Missed the monorail. Right. So now I'm gonna have to go get a bus over to Epcot. Yeah. So it's like one hour after park closes and Epcot closed at nine. So it's after 10 now. And so now I have to go find a bus to get me to Epcot. Looks like a school trip meetup over here. Oh yeah, they're holding up a sign. Let everybody know where they are. So, now to find a bus. Turn left. And look at this huge line. I hope all these people are not going to Epcot. Okay, this is the area where you go to catch a bus if you miss the monorail. And they have a sign down here. Y'all would think I was new around here. I will never do that again. I just came off this bus. An hour later. I'm at Epcot. It took forever for them to bring the bus. Yep. I finally made it home. What a day. I actually ended up giving a family a ride home because their bus, we were so late, like getting the bus to Epcot, that their resort bus was gone and they didn't have a way. And I just offered them a ride. So anyway, I'm home now. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Always do what makes you happy and dream big. And I'll see you soon from somewhere at Walt Disney World.